Hey YouTube, Dre here again. And today I got a very, very good video for you guys, especially if your car's turbocharged and you got a Honda Civic. We got some goodies on the bench here today. What we're gonna talk about, especially if you got the JB Tune upgrade kit for your fuel hanger upgrade on your um, Civic here. Mine especially, mine's an EK. So a few things I wanna talk about, especially with the installation of this. Uh, it took me about, I would say about maybe an hour and a half to get everything done, drilled out. And especially, I'm going to talk about um, when you want to make the holes for these things. Cause the holes on this is, is actually pretty huge. And when you're going to be drilling these out, you're going to want to get a step bit. Okay. And I should have pulled it out to show you guys what size you need, but um mainly this part right here on your fuel hanger this this part right here you're gonna have to trim a good amount of, off of that and get it flat for that washer to fit other than that installation the, the modification wasn't too bad just drill a hole for this one which is electrical you just drill a drill it straight through and can't stress enough make sure you use a step bit when you're doing this because you don't want to try to ream this hole up because you're not going to be able to seal it properly because one you have a washer right here that has a little step in it so when you put it inside it's going to sit flush with the top of here to seal any va any um gas uh, vapor i guess come from seeping out of your fuel tank and then you put your stainless steel washer or whatever washer they put here and then for the electrical one you're going to want to make sure that you put your washer it right you want to make sure you put your washer in the bottom oh, move my hand you want to make sure you put your washer directly in the bottom of there because this one's going to seal from the bottom and then this right here when you tighten it up it's going to seal from the top so that's very, very important. So make sure you put on the electrical side, you put the Teflon washer you get on the bottom. Then your wire go up top here. And um, we got a Wildbro 525 fuel pump that we're gonna be putting in this sucker. And we got some vibrant fittings and some K-Twin fittings and some vibrant lines. And what I wanna talk about is the fuel line is very, very important especially if you're going to be running e85 on your car uh because i got from my feed here i got a i got a dash eight right here and this you can see it's a ptf uh, line and not all of these lines are created equally because uh if you go on uh, the internet and you see they might have some lines that are very very cheap but are they conductive or non-conductive because when you're running E85 or any race fuel in your car, the fuel, when it travels through the fuel line, it creates static. So you want to make sure that you get a fuel line that's uh, conductive. Because you have conductive and non-conductive. So you want to make sure you get something that's conductive so that to make sure that any fuel that goes through, it won't create a spark or anything like that in your fuel system and create a fire. And, and, and you know what I mean? And kill your whole project that you work so hard on. You know what I mean? So... A couple of things that I really want to talk about here that's very, very important when you're doing this setup is your power. This is a fuel, this is a fuel, um, this is a relay conversion. You hook this up um, to your battery um, or to your alternator, wherever you want to hook it up, and you run all the way to the back. And when you hook up this relay, what this um, 30 to 40 amp relay is going to do is it's going to give you 14 volts going to the back because if you if you do your research on this pump here the 450 or the 525 uh the hellcat aka whatever you want to call it you know what i mean you want to make sure that you have the proper voltage going to here because this pump right here is rated at uh 13.5 volts and your stock fuel system wire will not be able to handle all that power so you want to make sure that you upgrade that and what this is going to do is going to make sure you get 14 volts going directly to your pump so your pump will have enough power to flow as much fuel as your pump can deliver and your fuel injector can put inside your fuel rail into your engine etc and the next thing that's very 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 important 
don't cheap out on when you're doing this guys i know this filter it's you know i mean it's a bit pricey but when you're building your fuel system it pressure is very very important so when you go with a cheaper filter you might you might get a lot of pressure drop inside your system this right here this is um a air motive it's a dash eight um 10 oh let me see it's a dash eight uh 10 micron let me focus that for you guys so it's a 10 micron filter it's like a micro glass filter it's one of their newer style filters which is really really good because they said the pressure drop on this will be like very 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 minimum so you won't notice anything so when you're putting your big pump in you want to make sure they have good fuel fitting and something else that's very very important when you order your wild bro fuel pump and you get the fuel pump kit install kit sorry this is the bag that you're gonna get to install on your car but if you have a honda civic but if you have a honda civic uh ek eg mine is a ek or dc4 or dc2 or da whichever car you got you want to make sure you get the right fuel fuel um suck you know what i mean because if you don't get the right one what's going to happen is you're going to start sucking up bubbles in your in your fuel system and that's not going to be good that that's going to in that's going to make sure that you're not going to get a lot of pressure in your in your fuel system which is why you bought this big pump to get all that pressure to go up to your, go up in there you know what i mean and then next thing is you want to make sure you get proper fittings like you know you bought the right fitting when look what this thing says high pressure fitting this thing a thousand psi you can flow up through this so i got a straight uh where's my 90 i got a 90 here and these fittings are beautiful okay two fittings and i won't be running this sock in my setup because this this will be good if you have a fuel tank that the fuel sock sits flat like that on the honda it's kind of angled so when when you put this in your car and it's kind of angled it's going to suck up bubbles in the system so this is a big no-no if you're going to be running out your honda nope what i did is i'm going to be running this wall bro fuel sock if you can see it's on the angle so when i put this in on my pump it's going to be sitting flat and it's going to be proper you get all the fuel up in here no air coming into my system and uh, what else should we go over hmm. i think we pretty much almost covered everything i think so my my feed is going to be a dash eight and my return is a six but the ek looks a little bit different compared to that one and when you're doing your fuel system upgrade guys the main reason why you're doing this is to get as much fuel up in your engine with as much pressure as possible with less pressure drop so buy the proper fittings don't cheap out on the fittings Two, get the proper lines make sure that your lines are rated for e85 or whatever fuel you're going to be running and make sure that it's conductive versus non-conductive lines which you're going to see on the internet which you make sure you, you better make sure you check that out because you don't want to see your project go up in flames so upgrade your wiring also because if you don't upgrade your wiring the wires are going to get hot near in, in the tank and it's possible that it can catch a fire easily so wild bro 2525 relay kit jb tunes nice uh product that he had for us to install in our cars good high pressure fittings good lines good filter and i think we should have have everything covered and hopefully in my next video i should show you a video of me installing everything on my car and this is sorry about that sorry about that i wonder there's a few things i wanted to really say before i close out that i didn't point out in the video one second okay but so make sure that you also get the the proper wire to go into your fuel tank i also got this from jb we hooked it up thanks a lot jb i appreciate it and yeah so this is a 525 pump right here and yeah see the plug goes into this you send your what your two wires into this hole right there, into there up in this way then yeah so this is this is a pump 
the 525 if y'all didn't get to see them yet if nobody didn't show you guys i don't want to take the cap off i don't want to get any crud in there see the numbers on top it's legit and be careful when you guys are also buying these pumps because these pumps are very 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 high in the counterfeit rate so you can also buy this on the Walbro website if you don't want to get scammed by anybody saying that they're selling the real pumps because there's a lot of pumps out there they look real but they are not and you don't want to take the chance with that okay and this is Dre thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and share and let me know if you want me to if you want to hear anything in the future about any modifications to do your honda and thanks for watching and see you next time peace